So guys, to get started, I've put an eyeshadow base on followed by a white base. And for that, I've used my Ben Nye Cream Stick in white. Start off over the top of that, I'm just going in with some of my powder, my foundation powder. It just helps to set the white. And also when blending out the green, it stops it from grabbing in the white as well. Just really helps to blend it out. And I'm just starting off with a dark green. This dark green's out of the Coastal Scents 88 matte palette. And just start doing little circles on the outer corner. And then blending your way in and into the crease. And continue to blend that up. I'm going with a little bit more and I'm going to add the darker green. It doesn't matter if you're losing any color down here and bringing it down too far because we're putting that loose green over the top to make it really sparkle so if you go down too far you're going to cover that over anyway and you won't see it. So now that you've got that real nice band of color just go in with a fluffy brush and just start blending it out and up. Just using a little bit of black just to darken up that crease. It doesn't matter if it's not neat because we're going back in with that darker green and blending it over the black. So it just becomes a shadow. Now you want to start concentrating on that upper brow bone. I'm going to go in with a white and I'm just using the NYX 02 white eyeshadow. I'm just taking it on a large brush and just going up on the brow bone and bringing some down. A bit. There you see you got the light and the dark. Take a fluffy brush, dip a little into the white, just the top and we want to blend that out so it's absolutely seamless. So you can't see any lines where the white starts and where that green starts and where they the blend. Next bit will just be a little bit of back and forth to build up the color to make it even with both eyes. So I'm just going back in with a mix of those two bottom greens in the 88 matte palette by Coastal Scents and just a matter of blending them together to get the color that I want. the dark green and take it along my lower lash line starting from the outer corner and bringing it across really close to it just take a little bit of white on the end of it and just start blending that down and out the inner corner Apply our white eyeliner pencil, just a couple of dots. Take a really small fine tip brush if you have one, or you could use your finger to blend it out. I just use the brush and just go in with that white. And start to blend it out. Next just go back here with your large fluffy brush and get a little a bit more white on it and just start blending that up just so that inner corner is quite light. Happy with that. Now the next part is using a loose eyeshadow. I'm using Sugar Pills Absinthe. And I've just mixed it in the lid with a little bit of a cake eyeliner sealer just so it's wet. You could use water if you don't have that. Um, MAC Fix Plus is a, another product you can use. So I'm just mixing it in the lid 
and getting some on my brush and apply it from the inner corner working my way back out. in with a small brush and apply some of the dark green through that crease area and then you can just pat it over that outer corner there just so it still just so it still appears dark and smoky Okay, next I'm going in with a gel eyeliner and to apply it I've just dipped the tip of a eyeliner crayon and I'm just going to use the product that's on the end of that on my waterline. Also using it to apply it on the upper lash line as well. Just roughly across the top then I'm going to go just in with a small angle brush just to smooth out the line Now going to curl my lashes. Now I'm going to apply my falsies mascara. Okay guys, so after you've applied your foundation bronzer and blush, whatever products that you want to put on your face, cheek highlighter, which is what I've done. I'm going to fill in my brows, but I'm not going to fill them in naturally. Just have this crazy thing that I like to fill them in with different colours, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to use the dark green that I used on my eyes, just to fill them in. So just keep filling in until you have the shape that you are. Stand out a little bit more. I'm just going to go in with the white again and apply it just patting it under the brow bone there and the same on the other side. A red lip liner. Just take your lip liner and just fill in your lips. Next lipstick itself, I'm using my probably favourite red lipstick of the season, Revlon Matte in Really Red 006. So guys, that completes my traditional Christmas colours for you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all again soon in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Merry Christmas.